Hi guys, thank you for clicking on this video. I'm here today to film the, I guess you can call it, um, story time. You know, I titled this The Bank Stole My Money, and you might be like, oh, this is totally clickbait, but it's kind of true, but I did get it resolved. I actually just got a letter a couple minutes ago that I looked at um, that said that they were investigating my case. Um, basically, I went to the bank one Friday morning actually it was Saturday morning because I didn't get off work I worked Friday from 6 to 12 30 but I got off uh, I finished all my closing stuff a little bit before I was actually supposed to leave so I got off at like 12 something and I like to go at nighttime it's not the safest thing because anything can happen okay maybe 12 like 30 ish in the morning I don't remember exactly, that was a big thing, is that I don't remember exactly um, how much I had. I just kind of put it in, I didn't think anything was going to happen. So I just put in like a wad of cash, which it wasn't too big a wad. Like my ATM says that you can put like 50 notes at a time. So like, and I was like almost 100% sure I didn't have $50 bills on me. So I was like, don't you dare. Um... So I just put it in the thing and then it rejected some ones. I don't remember how many ones it was because I'm thinking, okay, well, it's going to process all the other stuff and it's going to ask when I'd like to add more cash. I'm just going to click yes and then try to the ones again. But instead, it still seemed like it was trying to reject money and the money wasn't coming. There was no money coming out and it didn't look like anything was jammed in there, but the flap was still open and you can see like... The black, like, metal things, like, going like this, and it was just, the system was going everywhere, and, like, <clears throat> like, it, like, stayed frozen like that for a while. And I started feeling kind of, like, nervous because there's a car behind me, and they're probably thinking, how much longer is this chick gonna take? Like, do what you gotta do and go, but, like, I wish I could do that. Um, so after a while, it was, like, would you like more time? And I clicked yes. Because I'm thinking, like, I don't want to click no, and then just completely make, like, cancel the transaction. And, like, I was scared I wasn't getting my, mo my money back. So, uh, it stayed frozen. It was still saying, please take your rejected money. But, again, nothing was coming out. Um, so, so far, all that I've gotten back is some of the ones. And then, finally, the thing, like, closes. Like, the flap closes, and then the little light turns red. I was like trying to click all the buttons, I was clicking like, nothing was working, I was clicking cancel, I was clicking this one button at the bottom right corner that literally had nothing on it, it was making a beep sound, but nothing was like happening, I was just trying to, trying anything because it was frozen, it's 12 in the morning, bank's not open, other than the ATM, I'm like what the heck, so I clicked the button, I'm clicking cancel, enter, t pressing like the digits, and like, I'm just like oh my gosh, the only thing that's crossing my mind is what if I don't freaking get my, like, what the, like I just want to get out of here. After a while, it felt like 10 minutes of it being, like, it felt like it was frozen for, like, 10 minutes, but realistically, it was probably frozen between, like, 3 and 5 minutes. Uh, so I'm like, mm, what the heck? So finally, all I see is, your transaction has been canceled. Thank you. And it goes back to the home screen where you're supposed to slide your card. I was like... The first thing I do is I was, I took one second to think, should I put my card back in there? But if, even if I do, what am I going to do? What if nothing comes out? I'm wasting this guy's time behind me. This, like, <laughs> thing's still red. I'm like, oh my god. So I finally just click on my seatbelt, roll up my window. No, I don't even think I roll up my window. I don't even remember what I did. And then I put it in drive and I go in the parking lot and park. And I didn't even bother calling my mom. Well, I already knew what she was going to say, which was going to be, you shouldn't have gone at that time of night, blah, 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 and I was already in a bad mood after this. She said that, I was just going to get really mad. So I was just like, okay, I'm just going to call my dad, which my dad, the only thing he can do is give me advice, because he doesn't even live in this country right now, which is the uh, United States. So, um, there's not much he can do other than give me advice. So, call my dad, and you know... My mom kicked my brother out, and my mom also knows that I'm leaving in May, like, late May, to go live with my dad. So, me and my dad are a little bit nervous that she might, like, blow up one day and then just kick me out and stuff. So, like, 
I feel like when he got my call, that's what he was thinking. Um, because like 12, by this time it's like 12.30 in the morning. Um, I literally just call him and he's like, hello. And I'm like, hey, are you, are you, are you available? And he's like, I'm at the mall, why? And I'm like, so basically, blah, 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 blah. I was like, but I didn't want to tell mom because I already know what she's going to say. It's just going to make me mad and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, my only suggestion to you, call, try to call a 24 hour ATM line. And worst comes to worst, just go in there tomorrow. Well, technically it was Sunday because it was 1240 in the morning. At the end of it, it was like 1240. I drive home and um i did try to call a number but uh there's no options for press one if the atm stole your money so like it was just like saying lost or a stolen atm cards or and it said something about like a mobile wallet and i think i just eventually clicked one of them and then somebody picked up and was like hello this is how can i help you and i explained my situation she i think i clicked on the mobile wallet she's like well this is a mobile wallet so there's nothing i can do for you here but when the bank opens, if you go there, they can definitely help you. And so Monday, I had to be at work at 10 o'clock. So I'm like, oh, and I had a live lesson that's mandatory. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to wake up at like 7 o'clock on Monday morning. I'm going to get ready at 8.30, which I would have woken up at 7.30. I, did, I thought the bank opened at 8. I was wrong. It's 8.30. So I'm like, I'm going to wake up at 7, at 8 o'clock. I'm gonna go uh, try to fix this, and at 9 o'clock I'm gonna watch my live lesson, and at 10 o'clock I'm gonna go to work. I overslept, and I woke up right in time, like, I think I woke up at a 9.35 or something, and I was like, oh shoot, crap. Literally, I just, like, was like, okay. So then Tuesday, I had off. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of, like, better, because... I don't have to worry about going to work or anything. I got up at 7. I was waiting because I thought it opened up at 8. So then I walk in and I'm like, <clears throat> listen. No, I'm just kidding. Talk to this lady at the front desk. She's like, okay, they're going to go call your name. So I sat there for probably like a minute or two. And then somebody got up and was like, Kira. And then I like went over there. And there's a lot of silence. But like every once in a while she would ask me a question. And she's like, okay, I'm going to need to make this report. How much did you deposit? But I had already told her, I don't remember. She's like, well, you have to like make an estimate because I have to like make this report. So I was like, 160. I didn't know. There could, I could have like deposited like 140 or something. I didn't know. I just made an estimate. I didn't want to do too low and then me get mad if they somehow find the money. And was like, oh, well, you said you claimed 140, but we found 160 or like 155 or something. And then I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I just claimed a little bit higher up just in case because I didn't want to screw myself over so I was like okay 160 and she's like okay you said you got some ones back how much was that and I'm like <laughs> I don't know six like it could have been four I don't know and then she's like okay so makes this report she goes what number can we contact you by so I told her my number and then she was like okay well if anything happens we'll give you a call there's an ATM person coming over here so um yeah and I'm like so I'm like, so how will that happen? Like, are they just going to go through it? And if there's something that hasn't been credited, they're just going to assume it's mine? And she's like, yeah, pretty much. I'm like, okay. Okay. I go home and my windshield wiper fluid is out. So I call my mom to ask her, hey, last time this was refilled, somebody else did it. Is it going to be bad if I combine the two liquids? And she was like, just go ahead and do it. And I was like, oh, hey, by the way, um... This and this happened, not gonna lie, I didn't tell you because I knew that you were gonna get, like, I knew what you are gonna say and I was already really irate by this situation. Like, I wasn't so irate, I was gonna be rude to, like, the people that were trying to help me, but, like, because that's not gonna get me anywhere. Rage inside, because I'm like, that's a lot of money. To, it's not, like, $20 bill or, like, $10, like, oh, the worst, not worst, like, whatever, just suck it up. Hundred, like, something dollars. But, yeah, that went down. She goes, okay, well, you need to call them. And I was like... But I had just gotten done with it. So I was like, well, they said they're going to call me. She goes, no, at like 12 o'clock, you need to call them. But I'm thinking, I'm just going to let them do what they got to do. Trust that they, like, call me if anything happens. I'm like, fine, sure, whatever. So she's like, oh. And next time, don't go there at that time, please. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever, fine. I'm uncomfortable about going there anyway because now I don't want to get my money stolen. Which, yes, yeah, somebody could have just come out of a bush and been like, yo, give me your money. But, like, yellow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
it's 12 o'clock. I'm like, I'll call them at like one, it hits one o'clock. I'm like, I'll call them at two and it hits two o'clock. I'll call them at three and it hits three o'clock. I'm like, oh, um, and they call, they close at like five or 5.30. About like four, 4.30, my mom's like, have you called them yet? And I was like, oh, I forgot. Which, if she ever sees this video, I do forget a lot of things. Like a lot of times, like last night, I forgot to feed her sugar gliders. But this time, I lied and said I forgot. I just wanted to let them do what they gotta do. So eventually I finally call and it like it just kept popping up with all these you click one button and it's like and it brings up like five more options and then you click a button and it brings up more options and of course it's trying to bring you to the direct department and exactly what you're looking for but like like I wasn't hearing any options for your deposit didn't come back out with the rest of your uh, rejected money so like eventually i just like started clicking on the closest things that i felt like were to my situation and finally somebody picks up and was like hi blah, 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 how can i help you and i was like listen so um, i don't know if i got the right department but this happened and then i was like um but i'm just trying to figure out an update and she's like please hold Doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah that like kind of elevator music going on and then ring ring uh, for something purposes, your recording, your call might be recorded for quality assurance. And then, like, somebody, some dude picked up that was talking really fast. And, like, I was like, yeah, so this and this happened. And then he was like, okay, can you please uh, say your member number? And, like, my wallet was in the car and I was in my living room. So I was like, please wait. And I was like, hold on. He's like, sure. So I go out and while I'm in my car, I say my member number. And then he's like, why is my hair sticky? I'm sorry ma'am, you're breaking up. So I get out of my car and I do and I was going towards my house but then my dog started barking like crazy. And keep in mind, I have like six dogs in my house right now, five of them are mine, so like there's a lot of it's not like one dog barking that you can just be like, Hold on, shut up. Shut up No, it was like Shut up, shut up, shut up Shh 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 and I didn't feel like doing all that. So I just stood outside my house and I was like, okay, can you hear me now? And he's like, yes, ma'am. So told him my member number and he's like, please verify your birthday. I please verify your first and last name. And then I did that and he's like, please verify the last four digits of your social security. Then he was like, um, it says that they already made um a $160 adjustment. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And he's like, thank you, ma'am. Please uh, make sure that you, uh, look at that to make sure everything's right and then uh, thank you for calling them and i'm like okay thank you bye beep so i looked at it and it was saying adjustment but it didn't say pending but i was still like iffy about it like what if it's not really in my bank account yet and it's just saying that they're like doing something about it so i was like okay that's cool so i text my mom and my mom co-owns my account because i'm not 18 yet and so I told her that I'm not, i see it but i'm not sure if it's actually in my bank account because i don't remember how much was last in there and she looked on it and she's like yeah it's in there and stuff <coughs> it's funny <coughs> it's funny because i just got this today and this letter is actually basically updating me about it but it's the only reason why i say it's kind of funny is because usually when i get letters get letters from my sun coast i throw them away because they're usually just like paper forms of my history of what things i bought and stuff so i almost threw it away but then i was like you know what? i'm just gonna open it look at it and then I got this letter basically updating me about it and all it says dear Kira Tilka we have started our investigation regarding the following disputed transaction some information and then I disputed 160 we have carefully researched the details of the disputed transaction and have determined that the transaction is in error which that part confused me I'm like is in error I don't know if they're trying to tell me that I'm Whatever. Anyways, since you were issued a provisional a pr provisional credit, no further action is necessary, and your dispute shall be considered resolved. Sincerely, disputes department. How am I gonna reach the disputes department when I was first trying to see what's up with my bank account? Okay, that happened. I got my hundred sixty dollars. Lesson learned, <laughs> don't go there at night time. <laughs> my hours make it to where pretty much I don't really have time to go like. Like, if I get off at 4, yes, I have time to make it to, like, the bank to where if anything happens, I can just run inside and be like, hey, your ATM just stole my money. But the traffic is really bad, and nobody likes to do that because it's rush hour traffic. P. 
people are like their light turns red and there's people like in the middle of the intersection because they didn't get all the way through and it's just horrible like pretty sure new york city isn't even that bad and i've seen that's the worst traffic i have ever seen in new york city here in florida they're like hmm i see a green light and then they're like in the middle of the intersection but it's so stopped up that like they can't go all the way through they're just like stuck there and so anybody else can't go through and then there's horns honking and like I just don't like to go there, so I'm like, okay, I just like to go at nighttime. But now, lesson learned. I was really scared that they were gonna tell me, oh, sorry, we can't do anything about that, and I would cry myself to sleep because that's a hundred something dollars I just lost. But they, you know, they helped out and stuff. They, they might have literally gave me more money than I actually did. I don't. I highly doubt they gave me less money than I actually did. But like, you know, it's my fault. I should have counted it. I know this was um, a long story time, but thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you liked it, click the like button. If you like me, subscribe, comment down below, check out my channel. Have a great day.